Listen to me carefully. If you have yet to play MLB The Show today, do not go into MLB The Show. Instead, find something else to do. Until you get some official news from either a YouTube video or MLB The Show tweeting out themselves, do not touch the game. Why, you might ask? Well, if you did not know already, last night, I believe it was sometime around the early morning, there was an enormous bug that affected multiple accounts. And when I say multiple accounts, I'm talking about on a larger magnitude. So it affected a ton of the player base, but I don't want to say the overwhelming majority because we don't have that data yet. Now, what happened last night? Well, apparently your the show account got unlinked from your console. And if you don't know what your the show account is, it's basically where SDS stores all your stubs, all your progress, all your stats, as well as what your Diamond Dynasty collection looks like in terms of your inventory when it comes to players, unlockables, stadiums, uniforms, all of that good stuff is stored inside of there. Now, when it gets unlinked from your console and you try to play MLB The Show, it basically acts as if this was the first time that you ever played MLB The Show. So it gives you the code of conduct when you enter into Diamond Dynasty, instead of entering into your team and seeing the amount of stubs you had on the top left, you're seeing zero stubs and you're getting hit with the Diamond Dynasty tutorial. So that is a big deal, especially if you went ahead and invested a ton of time into the game already, whether it was to level up throughout the featured program as fast as possible whether it was to flip cards inside the community marketplace in order to make stubs or whether it was you just playing the game in general that is a big problem not only that but also if you spent money to buy stubs in order to upgrade your team or just open packs like this is a big issue that i think you have to look at from a larger perspective because not only will this affect the current MLB The Show 24, but it has the ability to affect MLB The Show 25 in terms of losing a good portion of the player base if they say to themselves, hey, they weren't able to do us right, so therefore we are leaving for good. In addition to that, there could also be legal repercussions because, as I said before, when you start talking about people actually investing real life money into the game, and I mean buying the game, you're investing real life money as well. But there could be legal repercussions as well against SDS. I'm not sure how people would go about it, but as you've seen before, at times Fortnite even gets sued and then everyone that had a Fortnite account from X time to X time is able to jump in and share some of the wealth that is going to be given out since Fortnite loses the battle. The same thing can happen with SDS in this occasion. Now, before we get into how to attempt to troubleshoot it, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a Hail Mary that might be able to at least help you a little bit, as well as checking out to see what MLB The Show has said so far. So, 10 hours ago, they said, we are aware of the account issues that some users are experiencing and are working to get it fixed as soon as possible. They then tweeted out an hour later that the PS5 tournaments that were currently going on are going to have to be postponed, as well as the Coach Classic, which I believe is the first major tournament that we would have and then 57 minutes ago from the time of this video of course they said that they are working diligently to restore the progress to the accounts that were affected by the issue reported this morning now my hail mary to you guys would be to simply go to the twitter and instead of tweeting at mlb the show which is most likely not going to fix anything go ahead and report the bug and if inside reporting the bug it allows you to include attachments then what you would do is you would go ahead and include any images that you have of your most recent squad and your most recent stub count because maybe that will at least allow them to have something to work with where if they aren't able to restore everyone's progress 100%, they can at least start you off at a better point than you would be if you were starting fresh. Shout out to my boy Scan, great MLB The Show content creator. He went ahead and tweeted out, if this happened to you and you load into the game and you basically have started fresh, what he would advise you to do is to go to the show.com and log into your account. If 
it shows your MLB The Show account, despite it might not be in exactly what level you were at or the exact amount of stubs that you had before, go ahead and select the account that has the levels as well as the stubs, because if you were to select the fresh account, because you are currently not linked to any console and none of your consoles are going to have your stubs as well as your progress, when you press the fresh account, it basically is going to 100% restart you from scratch. And even if SDS is able to somehow fix this, you would not be able to go ahead and get all of your stubs as well as progress back because you basically told the website that, hey, I am starting fresh obviously this is not great news for the player base but in general i just feel like mlb the show 24 we're past its honeymoon phase we are now filing for divorce and we're seeing who keeps the kids because not only is this currently going on we can also talk about things that were affecting the game from the start if you were playing ranked or battle royale two-way players were able to come from the bullpen and go ahead and start with full stamina we had the knuckleball pitcher that was throwing the knuckleball at 62 that was basically making it unhittable thankfully those two things they actually were able to fix and they fixed it well enough to not go ahead and break other aspects of the game but one thing in particular that we need to continue discussing until it finally works is co-op i have never in my life experienced a game mode like co-op for example mini seasons the first time they came out with it it had an enormous bug where for some reason to some people they had to restart their mini season despite how far along the mini season they were because it kept saying invalid rosters eventually it seemed that they were able to fix it to the point where it didn't affect users as much but there still might be some outliers of course multiplayer modes ranked co-op on the other hand I don't know for how many years we've had this game mode, but if it's two years, this has not worked at all for two years. You might get the occasional, yeah, I played a full nine inning game, but at other times you can play nine innings, win the game, end up losing. You can also go ahead and play with whatever card in the world that you're not supposed to be playing with inside of there that's not even inside your inventory so in general there were a ton of bugs with that then the other day where we logged into diamond dynasty and every single player was basically tiny with a bobblehead that was another big problem that was inside of mlb the show i thank the lord that we did not have any ball players this year connected to diamond dynasty because i can't imagine probably the xp glitches as well as maybe the stubs glitches besides of course the stub glitch that we had in the beginning of the game cycle that they quickly went ahead went ahead and patched in terms of road to the show and last but not least you know we're going to discuss this on a future video but a lot of people are saying that mlb the show is also going the pay to win um path because inside of the programs that we are getting we are not getting high enough cards in terms of overall to compete with the cards inside of the packs. And they're saying we're not expecting the game to go ahead and give us the best cards inside of programs, but at least throw us that pack with a non-sellable tag so we at least have a chance to play with those new players and don't make us be forced to either spend money to buy stubs and buy the packs or in general just spend our stubs in order to have a chance at getting the best player because inside of the season one drop awards you don't even have a guaranteed rare round you're paying 30,000 stubs and you might get the base round like i said we're going to be discussing that at a much later video if you were affected by this and you had to restart from scratch i would honestly not even play i would just wait and see if it gets resolved because i can't imagine especially if you hit world series and ranked starting from zero same thing with battle royale and all the xp progress like if there is an xp cap which there is daily imagine how far behind you are currently i'm not even sure if it will be possible for you to go ahead and complete the program that's going to be it for today there's not much we can discuss besides this tomorrow i should be tackling that is mlb the show pay to win now and we're going to have a fun discussion there as well so have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out